What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. It's great to have you here. It's been a minute since I've made any videos on YouTube. I am back today with a video about updates of what we got going on in the studio. I'm gonna throw some pots. We have a completely finished gas fire kiln that we just fired yesterday. We'll show you some of the results in there. I just thought, hey, I'm alive. I am still, we're making lots of pots. We're actually making a ton of pots. Uh, getting ready for the holidays. We have our next Etsy restock, our online restock, November 5th, although we are trying to keep it stocked all the time. So if you're interested in checking out any pots for sale, we always have pots on our Etsy shop. What else we got going on? I just recently got back from Portugal. So my wife and I had our 10 year anniversary and we got to go to Portugal. I played in a little golf tournament while we saw some things and there were tons, tons of cool pottery in Portugal. And one of the things that they had everywhere, like every shop in Portugal had all these little, like, I don't know even what you call them, little bowls, kind of like for olives or olive oil for dipping bread, like everywhere, every store had them just like stacked. So I decided I wanted to try to do that for this year. We are really working on keeping Mocha Monkey uh, really stocked up, like more than ever, like all the stores. So Mocha Monkey are the coffee shops that I own, which I sell all my pottery at. Before the YouTube channel, that was the only place I sold my pottery. Now I sell it other places too. This is a new idea that I had yesterday to make some mosaic tile tables. So the idea is that this is gonna be a table. Uh, we're gonna glaze them and then like adhere it, concrete adhere it to a piece of wood and then we'll grout it and then epoxy over it and make it a tabletop. So this will be like a two by two foot tabletop. Just a crazy interesting idea. These are some larger vases that I'm making for a floral shop. We're doing a hundred like special edition Christmas candles. So I have a local candle maker that'll fill them all. So we're currently coming up with different red and green and Christmassy color candle glazes, glaze combinations. So that's what these are gonna be. Uh, you'll see some of those in the gas kiln. What do we got in here? We got spoon rests and coasters, lots of Minnesota mugs and different things. This is a pretty full bisque kiln with a teapot and some other mugs. I decided I'm gonna start doing some more plates. So we got a bunch of plates going there. And then I'll show you guys the gas kiln that we are gonna unload today. Some exciting stuff in here. You can see these are some of the tests for the green candles, the Christmas candles that we're gonna do. This kiln has a lot of Kai's stuff. So Kai is my full-time studio assistant that I have working for me and he has a lot of stuff in this kiln. But I have a few things in here that will unload some cool stuff. This is Midnight Rain Over Winter Wood, which turns out sweet in the gas kiln. Look at that. All right, so we got some exciting Christmas results. I'll get them all together and share them, but lots of reds and greens and pretty fun stuff. Okay, so basically here are all the Christmas combos. So basically I tried bright red gloss and cinnabar are the two reds that I have. So like this one would be cinnabar and this one would be bright red gloss. And then there's two greens that are satin patina. So that's satin patina and then bright, or no, dark green gloss would be that one. And then I have alabaster and white gloss. Those are kind of like the, this would be alabaster over dark green gloss and then white gloss over cinnabar. So basically there's six glazes that are whites, greens, and reds. And I just tried all different combinations of those. And now this gives me a great baseline for what I should do for those 100 Christmas candles. And these were all in the gas kiln, which all these, all these combinations would also work 
in the electric kiln too. So likely what I'll do for those 100 is do some in the gas kiln and then do some in the electric kiln. And then I'll do a whole video about that so you guys can see some of the difference. Like that one's a really cool one right there. I'd say the dark green gloss, the red gloss worked really well, cinnabar. I wouldn't say the satin patina is my favorite. Gray, dark on top, didn't really do anything that cool. This one turned out kind of cool, satin patina over bright red. So great testing of those. Very excited to get those done. So that's exciting. All right, we'll unload the rest of that kiln. Most of the rest of what's in there is Kai's. And then I'm gonna carve some of these pots for future gas firing. Oh, just lots to do. Let's get to it. A couple other projects. We've been testing out some crystalline glazes and glaze firing programs. So that's been exciting. I haven't quite got it there yet. We've only done a couple. And these obviously, so crystalline glazes are when you really control the cooling and you get these crystals to grow. And so the first firing was good, but I would say that we want those crystals to be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna try a slower cool. So after a little more examination, we have, I think the top five. I really like this one, which is alabaster and bright red gloss. We have this one, which is alabaster and dark green gloss. This one, which is white gloss over cinnabar. And basically we're just gonna do tons of different combinations. The white looks really good. The white gloss in the gas kiln reduction, I think looks really good. So anyway, it's very exciting. It's gonna be fun to see all 100 come out when they're done. So that's it for this video. Sorry, I have taken so much time not on YouTube. Um, but it was just a break that I kind of felt like I needed. So now I feel a little invigorated to get some more videos out to you. So as always, comment below. Let me know if you want to see any specific videos. If you're struggling as a potter, as an artist, as a business person, let me know. I'd love to make topics that you guys want to see. Uh, also, let me know which was your favorite combinations. Uh, I'll have a few of these Christmas spirit um, candles. I'll put them online. Why not, right? For sale. Okay. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Love you so much.